It's that time of the year again where the wizards at Ivory Tower have gifted us once again a masterpiece. It's only this one vehicle which is called the Porsche 919 Street. I know, it's like a Le Mans car but just, uh, well, yeah, road legal basically. <laughs> it looks beautiful and it gets better. The price isn't even that bad. It's a 1 million for an hypercar. Now we do have a lot of options to choose from. I think this silver, this dark grey silver matches it the best and we only have one type of wheel unfortunately. But anyways enough rambling, let's do the painful part of paying for it. Oh my god. Yeah hopefully it doesn't disappoint when it comes to, well, customization because that's a very common thing to happen on this game sometimes, especially on them electric vehicles. I fucking hate them. So we have upgraded this bad boy to the max and it's uh, kind of a bit weird. It only has 900 horsepower but it can do 280 miles per hour. So I'm guessing it's probably very light. Let's go on to visual parts and god that's why it's 1 million. I mean you get what you pay for I guess we can at least upgrade this beautiful interior. Look at that. Wow okay let's make it brown. That looks very fancy. Is this a Le Mans car or is it a concept car? Okay, so we're gonna have to go the different route on customizing this. Give me a sec. Alright, so there we go. It's customized and it's looking beautiful. There's not really much vanities which we can put on this thing. But let's take it for a drive. Okay, so we have really exciting news. This thing is it electric, but I, I think it is powered by a four cylinder. Yeah, I think it's powered by a four cylinder or it's either a very raspy V8. But either way, it's proper fast. It's insane. Oh, there's the exhaust. They're very hidden, actually. I like that. It's like the 918. Oh! <laughs> Shit! So, obviously, with this new car, we have a Porsche Summit to complement it. So, we can try out one of these events with the 919 and hopefully it's actually good. First we obviously need to tune it and by the way if you want to know a basic tune which makes a car feel better in this game, just turn both anti-roll bars all the way up to stiff and the alignment all the way down to well negative 0.25 and there you go it's, it's sorted basically. It's not really that complicated this game when it comes to tuning. Let's go, look at it, oh wow this is such a beautiful livery, I don't just notice now it has yellow brake calipers, mm, just perfect. Okay so there's my ghost and he's in, well what is currently the most overpowered vehicle in the crew mode fest and that's the Bugatti Sention Dieci. Now uh, yeah we're smoking him, he's, he's fucked. <laughs> I like how this thing looks from the back. It looks like something you find in Watch Dogs Legion, maybe. <laughs> it's not that hard to overtake my ghost, and I really floored that thing. I hammered it down here. Oh, I mean, do we potentially have another overpowered vehicle up against the, like, Agera R or Sentio Deci? I don't know, this is very tight. Neck and neck, I should say. Very neck and neck. I mean, pretty similar times. Look at there just 0.2 of a second slow and that's because we like kind of cruised it around the last bend. What does the leaderboard say? So if we go to the top ranked on the leaderboards, the number one blow is driving the Porsche 919 and he got a 105. Okay so this thing has potential. It's even faster than the Gera R and Revento. Look there's another one, 21st place. So if that blow can get 105 with the summit only just being out for less than an hour, it's got to be one of the most overpowered vehicles in the game. So, <laughs> let's this time take this very seriously and floor it now. Come on, let's focus. This thing definitely stands out when it comes to the corners. It's very light. Yes, this thing even for wheel drive. Keep it flat. Yes, okay, we're smoking my ghost. Come on, 37. Go. There's the finish line. Keep it nice and flat over here, nice close to the corner. Ah, there we go, and across the finish line. 119. So there has to be a shortcut for the guy to have gotten 105. Okay, so this thing has potential, but let's see how it stacks up in a grand race with 
lots of other people. <laughs> oh, look at it. I j this is probably the best looking hypercar I've ever witnessed in this game. It's so smooth and sleek. I don't know, it's just something about it. There we go, we select that. Um, fuck it, let's just select the Evo. <laughs> okay, so everybody is driving either a Revuelto, a SF90, which is also quite overpowered. And hey, there's a bloke going there with another 990, no? And he jumped it. <laughs> okay, so not many people are in this. I see a lot of Koenigseggs. 13th place! No! <laughs> this game's rigged. Go. Always, every time there's a bloke in front of me that's just st st stood still. I don't know why. Spiteful bastard. Third place or second place is just like that. Oh, whoa. no, 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 no. Come on. There goes another guy. This is OP. This is confirmed. It's one of the mo most OP vehicles in this game. Look at that. There's a bloke first place. Two of them, actually. Oh, there's another bloke behind me, but he's in a Porsche 918. Weirdly, that thing isn't that good, but he's overtaking me. Everybody's just sliding out of the corner for understeering. It's, it's chaos. This might be the new meta hypercar <laughs> now in the game. Alright, there we go. We finished the grand race. Hey, we made a decent chunk of our money back. Look at that. 72 grand. Yes. So I want to test something. This thing is obviously really fast. The Kiss Me Combi event, which we all know is, well, one of the best ways of making money. And in this race, it is recommended for you to use a Formula One car, but you can use an hypercar. Now the best time I've gotten with a Formula One car was 1 minute 30. If we can get close to that, or even faster than that, using this Porsche, it's golden. Right, so let's see. I'm guessing we can get around about 1 minute 40, if not faster. We go corners quite fast. It keeps its speed just as well as a Formula 1 car. No, don't ram me. Utter bastard. Move. This is where we're going to make up some time. There we go. 290 miles per hour. I just saw that. What? We're nearing the end. Brake. Brake. It handles like a Formula 1 car. What the fuck? <laughs> I think, yeah, 1 minute 35. This is good. It's perfectly fine for money grinding. That's impressive. But yeah, there we go. That 1 minute 35. Usually we get in a Formula 1 car 1 minute 30 if you're like an average player. It's worth it. It's worth the 1 million dollars. I'm actually blown away. Like, Oh my god. Test it for yourself and uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and a subscribe. But see you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye.